Okay, so it is uh, Wednesday, Tribute Wednesday. Uh, if you're watching this or depending on your training seminar, uh, it should be uh, day five. Okay, so um, so at this point, uh, it's usually a couple of things going on with reps, and and as always, right? It's the it's the 10, 10, 80 rule. Okay, ten percent of you are like you're ready. To, you're watching this video like I am lighting it up. Okay, you're at two, three, four, uh, five thousand dollars, ten thousand, you know, maybe you're already at seven or eight, maybe you're even at ten thousand already on a Wednesday, okay, I wouldn't take that away from someone, uh, the possibility of that happening, and you are coasting, okay, and, uh, and for those people, I would say, keep your, keep your foot on the gas, all right, don't give up, don't coast, uh, you know, you committed to 10 days hard work, and remember, the further you go in those 10 days, the higher percentage you're at. If you're at 30 or 40 percent at the end of your uh, fast start, and even 50 percent at the end of your fast start, well, how great is that? The next week, when uh, when your first paycheck is for a thousand dollars or more, uh, and um, <coughs> or two thousand, or even higher, uh, or even if, guys, even if you do six thousand in your fast start, that's awesome. That is that's you're you had a super fast start, okay? I only did thirty five hundred dollars in my fast start, thirty five forty two. So, um, so the point is, is that, and by the way, I was fired up my first my first ten days. I made over four hundred and fifty bucks, right? So, uh, that was like two or three weeks at my other job. So, um. So the point is, is that drive it. If you're that person who's who's really coast, who's really doing great, and you're in that top ten percent, awesome. Uh, the last, the next eighty percent of you are probably in the I'm doing all right. <laughs> okay, things are going pretty well. I've done uh, five to ten appointments. Uh, I'm at anywhere between a thousand to two thousand in sales. I hit my first promotion. Maybe I had my first set sale. Uh, I've sold a couple pieces, and I'm starting to get the hang of it. I feel good. That's where most of you will probably be by this point. Uh, and, and or maybe you're, you're teetering maybe you're at like maybe you just got to a thousand maybe you're like 500 uh, by Wednesday you didn't say you didn't have a great first weekend maybe you just had your first sale you know all if you've had your first sale you're in this group <laughs> okay uh, and uh, but you might be like well is this really working for me yet and the last 10% uh, are, are maybe you haven't had any sales yet maybe your first weekend you had to leave you left training and you had to go on vacation or something you're seeing other people do well and maybe you're doubting yourself a little bit, like I don't know, or and maybe you know, maybe one or two sales, and you're still doubting yourself, like, well, I had one sale, but it was my mom. Of course, she's gonna buy. Which I want to tell you, by the way, when people think of that, it's it's kind of funny when when reps uh, sell to their their parents or their uncle or something, they go, well, you know, that's because they had to because it was them. But I I can't tell about fifty percent of my reps, they don't have a sale to their mom or their parents, or, because of the fact that you know their parents didn't, were nagging in the first place and they didn't want to buy anything. My my dad. Um, bought some things uh, and then he bought more when he saw other people buy <laughs> okay he was like oh I will buy the rest now and so like he bought a couple pieces right, right when I was in there he didn't let me finish the demo he bought a couple pieces and then he saw me sell homemakers to a couple other people and he was like wait a second those people want homemakers all right I'll buy so um, so uh, so the point is is you might you might feel like maybe you got lucky uh, or maybe the people had to and, and you're like well and then you had a couple of other no sales because your attitude's just not not in the right spot and uh, and you're not trying to sell you're trying you're showing up to demos to see how it goes okay and, and that's uh, that's your issue right now so I don't care where you are or by the way whether you're in that first group you're in the middle or you're in that last group there um, you, it's only five days. You've been here for five days, okay? You've been doing the job for five days. You know, if you were at any other job in your first five days, you would not understand the job completely. Uh, you would not have it down pat. You wouldn't feel smooth. Uh, and uh, you would still be figuring it out. Any job. If you're a receptionist, if you were a janitor, you probably still would be messing things up. So, uh, so what, what this video is, is designed to do is just say, hey, look, you're, wherever you are, you're on track. And it doesn't matter how you start. It matters how you finish, okay? You've probably heard that a hundred times before in your life, and nobody really cares what you did during your fast start. And when you're standing on stage, uh, or you look back on your fast start, no one's gonna say, you know, if you say, hey, I sold 6,000 in my fast start, you know, no one's gonna say how many no sales you have. Like I just told you right now, I sold 3,500 in my fast start. Um, did any of you think, I wonder how many no sales he had, or I wonder how many problems he had, or, you know, you didn't even care. You're just like, oh, that's what he sold. Cool. All right. So, so it doesn't matter what what happens during the process. It just matters how you finish and, and do you finish strong. And so, so here's the thing. Here is what will be the difference between you doing really well or not. And if you're in that group that's just dipping their toe in, and I would say even if you're having great success right now, okay, 
my question to you is how much work are you putting in? Are you, are you doing your craft? Okay, I'm going to be putting in a, uh, a piece, uh, you've probably seen this either in training or I'll put it into the website somewhere, Will Smith talking about um, his craft, learning his craft, okay? Uh, like there's lots of people who are talented, but do you, do, are you putting the time in to learn things? It is now Wednesday. Do you know your clothes? Pat, okay? Uh, do you know your recommendation approach? I'm going to be, I'm tempted to say, unless you were really flying, none of you are doing six to seven to eight appointments every day. Now, if you're that one or two percent of those people who are, great, okay? Then you should know your clothes because you've been doing demos seven or eight times. You should be saying the same clothes all the time. But how much time have you really spent and memorized your clothes? How much time have you sat there and memorized your recommendation approach? How much time have you spent? Have you, do you have your recommendation book put together? Okay. Uh, are you reading your phone approaches and working on that? Okay. Because the thing is, you're not going to see huge success. You'll see some accidental you know, successes. You'll, you'll get some spot success here and some spot success there. But you're not going to see the huge results until you dedicate yourself to, to doing the work. Okay. It's almost like some, all of you have either... You know, it's somebody that goes to a college uh, and says, well, you know, I'll start studying once I start getting good grades, but I'm going to see how it goes now. And then if it goes good, then I'll start studying more. <laughs> okay, well, is that person going to get good grades? Absolutely not. And we all know that. And so, so the point is the same thing here. You got to put your time in, you got to put your work in, master your skill. And, uh, and, and if you know, I'm telling you, you do your clothes, you know your demo. Cutco is a great product. Customers love it. And if you can drop down and show them the sets and work things out for them, you'll do fine, okay? And, uh, and again, uh, the reason you took the job is because you thought the product was really, really cool. And, and it's still, the product hasn't changed, all right? So, but are you going to put the skill in to learn how to sell it and how to communicate? And that's another reason why I took the job, because you wanted to learn communication skills. You want to learn how to deal with people. You want to learn how to, uh, how to negotiate. And that's what you're going to learn. And uh, any type of skill takes time to, to develop. Okay, no one's born, you know, comes out of the womb with a blue book and a petite carver and like, yes, I know how to sell cocoa. Doesn't happen that way. Everybody's got to put the work in and you get what you deserve. So do that tonight. Okay, if you haven't done it, spend some time, take a half hour every day uh, and, uh, and put some time into your craft and you'll do great.